Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm about to go to lunch and I'm gonna go to a market. So I thought I would take you guys along with me and show you guys my day in the life of going to a market and shopping. So let's go. First thing you need is your backpack. I always bring two water bottles. I'm gonna fill this up soon. I always have all my wallets, which I probably shouldn't do, but just in case, some places do take credit cards, so I'll do my credit card and I'll do my money, and yeah, this is what I bring to the market. Just always have water because the market is so small and it gets so hot, so always have water. welcome back to my channel I just did the intro and explained that I was going to the market today and I just got home and said I'm gonna show you guys what I bought at the market the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that I went and got coffee at a coffee shop in one of the malls and usually by the time that I get home it's probably a minute drive home a minute or two drive home I usually chug this coffee this is the first time it's dripping it's disgusting <laughs> This is the first time that I haven't chugged all of the coffee on the way home from the trip. So I'm very proud of myself. But this is um, Cafe Amazon. It's like pretty much the Starbucks of Cambodia. It's really good. And I watch so many YouTubers that talk about coffee constantly in their videos. And so I can actually join them today and say that I got coffee. The first thing I need to do in the morning is get my coffee. It's what I literally watch in every single YouTube video. In the morning I need to go and get my coffee. Hmm. I'm gonna die you know so I'm one of those basic youtubers now because I actually got coffee but it's like two in the afternoon so it's not the same yeah another thing it is gonna rain which again it never rains here and last video that I made it was pouring rain and really loud so I'm sorry but I think it's actually gonna rain again today I don't know what it is with the weekends it's really nice I love when it rains but if you guys hear wind that's the rain and that's just right outside because it's about to rain okay so yeah okay so I'm gonna go in order of the places that I went. So the first place I went to was Orasai Market. It is a massive market with so many things. Like anything you could ever imagine is at that market. It's so big, it's so hot, it's so crowded. It smells very bad. It has everything from food to, okay, I'm, the wind is gonna get really loud. I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> I didn't know why does it always have to win, like wind? 
why does it always have to rain right when I'm trying to film a video but yeah this market has literally everything you need and I found a really nice shop the last time I went when we went for the wedding dress shopping we went to go get some wedding dresses and so I'll insert a photo of us at the wedding if you haven't seen my last video go watch that it was a little update and I talked about the wedding I went to but they have everything so I went back to the same shop that I really liked and then I found a few more shops I'm just gonna show you guys what I got and again I um, I went way out of my comfort zone with all of these clothes especially the colors I don't ever usually wear any of these colors but I just wanted to challenge myself so the first thing that I bought we are going on a trip soon with the students and so I wanted a few little bit nicer shirts so I got this like yellow cute top and it has a little tie on the bottom this was I think five dollars she said at the store and I never ever ever wear yellow so that's why I was saying that I went out of my comfort zone I got a yellow shirt I actually got a two or three maybe yellow shirts you'll see keep watching this video if you want to see what else I got that was yellow so that was five dollars and I tried to bargain they didn't let me but they probably could have gone cheaper but yeah it's just because I'm American so they're not gonna let me bargain the next thing that I got I would only wear in Cambodia and <laughs> I know I didn't I probably don't need them but I just really wanted a pair of casual pants and they didn't have any black pants all black so these pants are actually very childish but they're very common in Cambodia so I think I'm only gonna wear them in Cambodia but I just got a pair of like black jogger material but they're very childish because they have silver running down the leg and yeah I didn't really like them but I just wanted a pair of casual pants that are a little bit looser and just more comfortable and this was the only style that they had that was not obnoxious they had like yellow and red and all this stuff and I just it's not me so I got those those were I think seven dollars again couldn't bargain with the sad and this is my favorite from the store I'm gonna put that there I got this dress I'm gonna scoop I'm gonna scoop back to show you guys a little bit more of this dress so this dress it's like a bear it's like pretty much a t-shirt material and it just kind of looks like one of those like jersey shirts and it's so cute I'm gonna like can you guys see it just so cute and it's really long and it's just the like, really nice material so I'm very excited about this this was again seven dollars too I think yeah these were all this was seven dollars as well and I'm very excited about this dress because it's so light and comfortable so I won't get hot so yeah very happy about that okay wipe the sweat I don't think my fan is actually working. Do you see how slow it's going? Why do I not feel it? One second. I don't feel it. <laughs> okay. Next door. So, yes. The next door, I did a little bit of exploring. I didn't want to get lost in the market because the market is massive and I knew the one staircase that I wanted to go out of, so I knew that I couldn't leave that staircase. I had to have it in sight at all times. So I only did a little bit of exploring around the staircase and i found these if you are a bigger person or if you chafe uh, these are probably very good to get if you go to a hot climate i bought some before i left and they're really getting kind of like worn now i think it's the material that i bought just like sweat and then the material of these that i bought are just getting old so i bought these like shorts that you wear under your clothes so you can wear them under like i wear them under my uniform because i wear a skirt and you can wear them under pants you can wear them under literally anything and these help so much with sweating with chafing because your legs are protected like they just give you like a cover so you don't chafe i bought something very similar to these before i left for cambodia and they've been amazing they've been a lifesaver like i don't think my legs could handle without having them my other ones are getting pretty destroyed because i've been wearing them for seven months and washing here is not fun so i just got these and it's just a better material i think it's better quality and it, i don't think it'll break and rip as my other ones are doing that i just got two of those i think they were again i tried to bargain they were both it was four dollars total but i tried to no it was five dollars total but i tried to make it four and she was like no 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 so but yeah it was five dollars for those my last shop where's the bag oh it's on the floor 
The last shop, I was actually very happy when I found this because most of the shops in that store don't have bigger sizes. They have very teeny tiny clothes. And I found this shop and I found clothes that were size large. So I was very happy. And I got two t-shirts. I'm actually very excited about these. And they were a lot cheaper than the store that has bigger sizes. So I wish I would have found this first, but I didn't. But I got, this is, I don't know why I fell in love with this shirt. I know it's very strange. I don't know why. I just love it. It's just like a t-shirt. It is long sleeves, but it's not super thick. Love the colors. And I just, it was $3, which is very good for t-shirts and clothes. Just got really excited and I loved the colors. I don't know why. It was, I was drawn to it and I just had to buy it. And then I fell in love with this shirt too, which again, I don't buy yellow, but I just fell in love with it and it was really cheap. It's just a Levi's shirt. Levi's are really popular in here. And so it's just a Levi's t-shirt that I wanted to wear because all my t-shirts are really big. So I just wanted a more fitting shirt. And I really liked the red. I don't know. Usually it's white, but something about the red and yellow. Just wanted to step out of my comfort zone and try something new. So that is what I bought. At that market, they were both $3, which was amazing for t-shirts because most t-shirts could be like five to $6. So finding them for $3 was really, really nice. Are you done, Wind? We'll do a coffee break when the wind blows. Cheers. It's actually dripping all over me, which is awful. And then another thing that I did not buy, I gave money to my students to buy because they know the markets better than me. They got me this cup. Bought one of these. Seriously, wind. Oh, okay, the wind. Um, I bought one of these metal straws at a cafe. It was like last week I bought, and then I realized that I didn't have a cup that would be good to put the straw in. Like my only water bottle was this. If you guys didn't know, I lost my big water bottle. So you can see that this lid can't put the straw in, you know? Like you can, but then you couldn't put the lid on it. So I really wanted to get one of these bottles that are really common for the students that they use that could fit the straw and I could be able to drink water. And I wanted more water, so I wanted more, <laughs> that makes no sense. But, so I asked one of my students to buy it for me and she did and I was really excited. It's like just a Yeti, but just the Cambodian style Yeti. It just says Adidas, made in Thailand. And then these things are very common. They are little, holders so that you're not like holding a freezing cold water bottle or a hot bottle and she said this is the only one they had and if anyone knows me I hate pink hate it I hate it so much but this was the only style they had you know trying new things I don't wear yellow clothes often I'm gonna start wearing yellow I hate pink do I not just carry this around all day I look like a five-year-old but it's okay it's been really nice I like having this and then I really like using the straws. I'm trying to be eco-friendly and not throw away trash all the time. So now I have those straws to be more eco-friendly. That is it for my haul of the market. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing more of Cambodia and seeing more of the market. If you guys want to see more of that, give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you want to see in Cambodia. I'm going to Sim Reap next week. So I'm going to have really awesome videos coming out. I'll probably do more than one video next week because it's a three-day trip and we'll probably... I'll probably film the whole trip, so I'll have a lot of videos for you guys. So get excited for that. Simreep is an awesome place, and it's probably like seven hours away from here, and we're taking the whole weekend with the students. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys and show you guys more of Cambodia. Make sure you leave a comment down below of what you guys want to see. And this week, shout out. Yeah! Many of you guys have not seen the video till the end because only a few people left an apple in the comments. So this week's shout out goes to Sre Pit. I'll leave her comment right here. She was one of the few people that left the apple. So remember guys, if you guys want to be in next week's shout out, you need to follow me on my social media and you need to leave a comment with an emoji. This week's emoji, we're gonna do a close. We're gonna leave a shirt in the emoji. So if you leave a shirt and watch the video till the end, you guys can be next week's shout out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys.